Final session here of day one of week two of the World Bowls Championships for 2023 right here on the Gold Coast Club. Musgrave is our setting for today's clash and it is Sam Tolchard of England, the reigning World Bowls or World Champion of Champion singles title winner uh, against Ulla Bakren of Sweden. England versus Sweden, looking forward to this one. Val Ferbo here with you, joining me as he has done for the fortnight. Barry Lester, Baz, welcome. Thanks, Val. And yeah, Sam actually won that in very, very similar conditions to today. Very windy day there in New Zealand when he took away that title at Nine Eye Bowls Club. And we've got a really strong northwester at the moment. It's hot and windy. Well, they call it Windy Hill. I thought there was only one back in Melbourne, but there's one up here as well. And we are sitting right on top of it. It's pretty, uh, pretty gusty. Very much looking forward to seeing how this match goes, though. And Ulla Bakran, his two matches so far against Ryan Bester, he lost 21-6. to And then in his second match, he was up against Errol Mark Johnson from Sri Lanka. He got the job done 21-8. to uh, Sam Tolchard, however, won 21-3 to against Bhavan Balendra of Botswana. And then in round one, he enjoyed uh, another win over Anthony Loki Sin of Singapore. So one and one for Ulla. Two and zero for Sam Tolchard. Very interesting couple of uh, couple of groups here. Sam Tolchard, Kenta Treacher, Ryan Bester, and Wayne Rittmuller all in this. Oh, it's a very loud horn there. A lot closer than the previous ones have been, but really interesting group here, Baz. Tolchard, Treacher, Bester, Rittmuller, Buckran sitting in fifth position. Yeah, I know quite a number of these players have seen and played against them before and all very capable. Um, but it's that uh, war of attrition, mate. It's just that day in, day out, game after game, managing yourself, preparing and trying not to be fall complacent to the elements and the conditions. So you've got to be right on top of your game because it's easy to play a couple of loose ones out there. And if your opposition just happens to sneak under your guard... Yeah, it can, uh, it can get away from you. So concentration right now, last game of the day. It's warm, it's tricky. Yeah, you've got to uh, be really focused and try and finish off on a high. Exactly right. And Sam sitting right on top of this group. Score difference of plus 29. Treacher and Bester plus 28 and 22 respectively. So it's going to be interesting to see how those four with Wayne Rittmuller go. Ulla Bakran starting proceedings here. So green speed sitting on 14 seconds. Just chuck the stopwatch on it. Now that's Going to be a little bit different in each direction as that breeze is a northwester, so it's going to be tailing more one direction. So as they're playing right now, as we see Ola, he's on the forehand. He's sort of playing nearly directly into the wind as that bowl's bias starts to turn. It's punching up straight into that northwester. So on the forehand he goes. Fair correction here. Yeah, just... Adding a couple of inches there. Once again, Bree's having a fair bit to say of that bowl in the last sort of metre or two. Really punching into that bowl. There's Sam Tolchard. He's looking to correct as well. And he's done a good job of it. Little edge of the jack. Touch up. Shot and also the tee. As we look around this green, as we see a lot of big singles games going on this particular green. This is the, uh, what we would say, probably the, the northwest green of the clubhouse. And then there's the northeast green next to it. And we've got the green around the corner to the south. So three, three full-size greens here at Club Musgrave. Large club, big facilities. Just about 10 minutes Northwest of Surface Paradise, and just next door to the Commonwealth Games Village from 2018. 
basically walking distance. As Sam draws another. So already looking to score heavily early is Sam Tolchard. His sister picking up a gold medal. Sophie Tolchard on the weekend in the women's fours for England. So one gold medal in the family kit bag already. Can Sam try and work on getting one him, himself in the singles? And so he's uh, got off to a good start here. He'll be happy so far. That'll be three shots. Good start for Sam Tolchard. Just went to fix the camera up the other end. There's a big Swedish flag that Ulla put up himself just prior to the match, Baz. Good to see a little bit of character. Very proud to represent Sweden. Yeah, definitely. And um, oh, you love to see it. Some, uh, some countries put little in animals rinkside and... So, a massive collect to Sam Tolchard to start proceedings here. A three to England. Just couldn't get that last one in. But the world champ of champs, winner from last year. Off to a flyer. I think with Taylor Bruce winning in, uh, or in Hallensvale on Saturday, I reckon that will give him a lot of confidence. Considering that... Uh, one of the Champ of Champs winners from last year has got the job done. And Sam Tolchard. Go two from two. Sister Sophie. Got her World Championship on Saturday in the fours. She's already in a pretty good home here. 21 up, that's the format we're playing to. First past the post, two hours, 15 minutes, the time limit, as is all of the, or as are all of the sectional matches. This one from Ulla, just going to drop underneath. Sam already finding his line, as you said before, Baz, that he's used to these conditions, played in 9 eye last year in Late November, early December in the World Bowls champ or the World Champ of Champs. Edward Mor Morris will be England's representative in that uh, next week at Rabina. Yeah, and that's really good bowling there from Sam. Both bowls on the backhand. You can see nearly identical finish. Uh, so it's a good way to indicate what kind of draw and what the, the arc is doing. See both bowls of Sam Tolchard there nearly finishing identical in angle and both standing up. So that's an important indicator early on that there is consistency there because you can see the bowls both finishing on the same angle. Whereas if you saw bowls coming down and finishing one slightly straighter or, or one slightly more uh, drawn than the other, that might indicate there are some inconsistencies on that particular hand. But that's what uh, some of these indicators these players will look to read early on, just to see some similarities between each delivery. And as you can see there, all three bowls so far, all standing and all finishing on the same angle, which Sam would be looking at going, well, that's telling me that hand's a very consistent hand. So, already an ominous start for Ulla Bakran. Sam Tolchard has found that consistent line. He's gone out a bit wider than his previous deliveries, however. And I'll tell you what, he's not a mile away. It's a fair correction. Three down to one up. Nicely done from Ulla Bakren. Gets that shot now. Sam Tolchard, does he just go for this bowl, Baz? Sit it out. He, he does. Uh, the only drama is when searching for this bowl, particular bowl of Ulla's, that... It has a high possibility of when it's leaving the head, Sam could uh, it could go into Sam's at bowls and Sam could take all of his bowls out. So 
I think it's probably going to be more controlled than flat out for me, just so some of his bowls do stay around if the angles are wrong. Yeah, more controlled. Yep. So here we go. Just looking to pop that bowl out. He's very close. Not far away he at wants all. wants it clean. What a shot, Sam Tolchard. That could be shot of the day so far. Sam Tolchard, one down to four up. That is monumental. Brilliantly done. He yeah. knows how to play the clutch bowl. He did it against Izatzul Kepler in Nainai last year in the final end or the final end of the tie break, winning on the last bowl. Look at this, Baz. Yeah, it's perfect weight for me because he knew that he didn't have the tee, so he wanted the jack to stay around as well if he was off course. But so Ulla, what is his same bowl now? Yeah, same he just bolt. needs to press the repeat button. Uh, remove all the externals from your mind that just happened and go back to thinking of the positives and remind yourself what it took to draw it with his third. So Ulla Bakren... Kept to a similar line here, but the problem is, does he have the weight? And I think this is going to drop short. He wants it and urges it. And a little grimace, Sam Tolchard has made his move. That is a, I believe that's going to be a four. Oh, three. So six zero. favour of Sam Tolchard. I really thought that was a full count then, but last bowl of or one of the earlier bowls of Ulla might have stayed in there. But nonetheless, a pretty good start. Yeah, it's um beautiful play from Sam. Just to be, just to be able to um, back himself with that weight control in these conditions. The easier or, or, I guess, higher percentage shot in these blustery conditions would be to go straight at that shot bowl, but he knew it did breed a few issues. If he was off course, he could clean a quite a number of his own bowls out because the shot bowl was so close in proximity to Sam's near bowls near the jack. So obviously when you're looking to take a bowl out of the head that's near your bowls, it runs that risk. So... Four medals at the Commonwealth Games, 2014 in Glasgow, bronze in the pairs, 2018 Gold Coast, bronze in the fours. Last year at Birmingham, silver in the pairs, like his sister Sophie. And then a bronze in the fours. So two medals in Birmingham last year to go with that world champion of champions for the 34-year-old. Born in Torquay, England. I've never been, but it does look pretty when you Google it. It um, definitely looks like a very, very nice part of England um, down south. The further south I've been is um, down to Brighton. and uh, But I haven't been down to that southwest area. But Torquay, it does look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it certainly does. I'm looking at it now. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, nice correction there from Sam. Just adding that couple of extra feet required. That'll do. That'll be very hard to beat from here on in. So you started well. Good to have your company from wherever you're watching around the world. Famous Swedish athletes. Well, we were talking about one off air. The one and only, well, there is only one. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yes. We're holding on to a few things here at our uh, yep, media almost, table. Where there's a bit of breeze getting on here. Almost lost my pods. There's crumbs absolutely everywhere. Mm, good luck with that. Sam Tolchard. Forehand again. Oh, that's rhythm. That's class bowling in these conditions. He's in good rhythm. 
Barry. So let's look at Sam Tolchard and his sister, Sophie. Both international superstars in the sport of bowls for England. What about Australia or any other countries? What do you mean? Sport, brothers in, and in, sisters? In bowls? In bowls? Oh, b- bowls. Mm. The Millericks? Yes, that is one. What about uh, opposite gender, male and female? I said gender. Well, I know the the Nelson brothers and the Garrick brothers. Yeah. Male and female. Well, the male and female, brother, sister. Now, I know there would be one. It'd have to be. The, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying. But let's start with, um, you know, players and then let's see if we can think of anyone that's played international. Um, this is that's a bit of a difficult one that you've posed yeah. there, Baz. I thought we'd try and uh, end the day with a little bit of trivia, mate. Yeah, the toll charge, definitely. It's a fair effort, isn't it? Brother and sister, both in the same team. He needs Sam, to hold. He does. Now he just needs it to stop, which it will. Yeah, that'll do for three, I reckon. The two Rickson sisters from Malta. Yep, that's great. That's a good one. Uh-oh. Okay, something's gone flying. Yep, that is one of the one of our forty fives. Hopefully, the phone is okay. Okay, just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, we're holding on here. It yep. is windy. Very, very windy up here on the hill. And to the players' credit, they're uh, they're out there playing some great bowls. Sam Tolchard, three inside a yard. That's great going in these conditions. So let's see if Ulla Bakren... can... He's gone big and he's missed, so... Baz, this is, I reckon, going to be another three. Sure is. And that, once again, on in any conditions, those three bowls would be very competitive. But in these conditions, especially, Sam Tolchard, well done. Well, nine, nine nil. After three ends. Very, very impressive from the Englishman. They're going to go down and have a look. And that is three paddles once again. Monumental start as he wants to ensure his shot difference rockets up. Make himself really tough to beat. It's an interesting one with the sisters and the brothers. I think a lot of sisters and brothers in law. Obviously, we saw uh, Jake and his brother the other day. Yep. Jake and Cody winning together. Sam Tolshard. Can he get another triple? Move into double figures after four ends. Yeah. He only just... needs two for you know, then needs one for that. He has had a lining start. Just found his rhythm as you said earlier. Yeah, just missing his weight on this occasion. But the thing I really like about Sam there is he's played four great shots in this direction two ends ago. He hasn't looked up and get, and said to himself, well, where should I play? He's, he's, he's running with what he knows, and, and that's uh, allowing him to play to the conditions he's confident with. Wow, as we're just holding on here, Val, we, uh, oh, it's we're getting blow- bashed. It is blowing a gale. Yep. And, and I'm liking the energy here from Sam Tolchard as well. Like he's hopping, running up and down the green, enjoying himself out there. Probably needs to put one past yep. Yeah, looking for probably three to four feet. Just hit that line again, let the breeze run that bowl up. <coughs> I don't think he's too pleased with this one. I think this one's going to drop short as well. Might do enough to get him for second. 
which I believe it has, maybe just. It's probably the only ineffective bowl that we've seen from Sam Tolchard. Ulla Buckren on a wide line. That one probably won't do enough. It might come into the count. Might come in for second there. I think he has. Yeah, Sam needs about six feet on his last, but ideally, like you said, Val, can he slide on past and just put it into an area where at once, one, it's not a target, but just in case there's any jack movement. Well, he's going to come across. And he probably won't be happy with that. He has probably created a bit of a target for... The Swedish single superstar. This works together, doesn't it? Sweden and superstar. Michael Hollywood Sorensen says thank you very much. He reckons it's him. This is a chance. Will it get there? It's fighting hard. It if is. it gets a clear run. Whoa. He won't. Whoa. Does it fall in enough for shot? I tell you what. I think he might just have done so. Sammy Tolchard, he's having a look at that. There's he may go for the bowl again here. Yeah, I think Sam's going to be probably chasing to really, really not let his opposition get in here. I think he'd be pretty keen to get that bowl out of there as quick as he can. When you're 9-0 up, I reckon you'd be starting to think about keeping a clean sheet. See if he can do it again. Backhand looking to get this bowl out of there. If you ever kept a clean sheet, Baz? In singles, only twice in my life. So 27 years of bowling. It's very hard to do. Sam Tolchard. Yeah, he just needs to turn in now. If it falls, it's definitely going to be shot. Not sure. Very interesting. Ulla Bakren now with a chance to possibly... Get in for two here. And he did it the hard way, Ulla. He mm. uh, didn't know if he was going to go under around that wing bowl, but he, I think he could be holding one here. He'll favour the bowl nearest to the centre line. Closes the angle off. Well, there's the marker's indication. One red at the moment. Well, it must be that bowl at 11 yep. o'clock. As you can see, it's a little bit further forward to Ulla's most recent can he do here the Swede using aerodynamics or sorry aero optimus Sam Tolchard using XG's it's been a lightning hot start for the Englishman yeah, he sure has Val 9-0 after three ends can't ask for a better start than that especially in these conditions so Ula, he's having a little dig himself here. He is. He doesn't want to knock out his own. That's the problem. He's all over his own bowl. Let's see what happens. He needs Ula. clean. Ula Buckren. Well, he's gone from potentially one up to two or three down well, here. Well, he's gone. He was one down. Now it's definitely two down. Could it be three again to Sam Tolchard? That is a disastrous situation for the Swede. The intent was good. Just overplayed the weight. Just trying to promote his own bowl. There's one. Marker has two paddles in his hand. There's two. We're going to measure for the third. I reckon this could be close for three. I've got it for three, Val. I've got it for three. Oh, I am agreeing with you, Baz. Ulla Backren, who's playing on the back green. Oh, Baz. Here at Musgrave Hill. Oh, Baz. Can we wedge another E in there? <laughs> And three it is. So. Are we going to get the confirmation? Yep. Sammy is grabbing the mat and he's grabbing a 12-0 lead. That is. Well, he's gone three, 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 three. If you weren't good at your three times tables, you are now. Sam Tolchard. Lightning hot start for the Brit. The Torquay native. Four-time Commonwealth Games medalist. 
World Champion of Champions singles winner from last year. On the forehand to start. Staying to the near side of the ditch here. Finding a lot more consistency. Baz, so forehand one way, backhand the other. And he's coming around the back. Not a bad home. Yeah, that, and that's a perfect um, perfect starter there from Sam, really. You know, you, of course everyone wants to nail the jack. You want to be on top of the jack all day long. But in a game of singles, you, you ideally you want to be there with your first because you've got to experience what it takes to reach. You bring yourself back. So you bring yourself back from your learnings instead of the the you know the wonder and and uh, the guesswork of what it takes to get there. And then once you do reach, and Sam's created uh, you know an avenue for two good things now. He's not only reached, so his his line's great, and he's and he knows what it takes to get up there. So now it's just a case of coming, working your way back, making the minor corrections. As we see here on a good line again. Well, he's first to 10. 12-0 after four ends here for Sam Tolchard. He has been mighty. ITOs, volunteers. When you look around, the amount of volunteers... Especially singles discipline. We all know at club level when you're running singles events, it's hard to get markers. Well, imagine trying doing it on a world stage. Markers giving up their time to volunteer. It's an amazing effort they're putting in. Ulla Bakren needs it to run. And I'll tell you what, he might have just nipped shot there. Sam Tolchard, just a couple of feet less on his weight here. Yeah, same line on a really good path again. This looks can, really good. Any trail of the jack. He's just going to end up with his last three. So they are all nestled in a very good spot here. And Sam Tolchard's last bowls have been magnificent so far. One to Ulla Bakren at the moment. What can he do with his penultimate bowl of the end? On the forehand. Yeah, good line again. Not far away. As we see where the bowls are now. That's doesn't want Jack. Well he's gonna He's gonna trail the Jack there. That probably gives Sam Tolchart at least two seconds, so definitely gonna see weight now from Sam. Get rid of that bowl and he's been on the money. Yeah, it'll be back in, Jack in the ditch. To make maybe one, or could try and play it neater than that. But uh, for me, I think it'll be backhand runner. Look for the shot bowl, make two or three. If he happens to get Jack and it kills, he's got an absolute T covered. Okay, backhand it is. Sam Tolchard. Looking at good, solid timing weight here. 20, 30 feet of weight. That's what he's gone for. He's going bigger. He's going direct here. He's, he's under. So, barring disaster, Ulla Bakran is going to be on the board. He's going to have a look at the head to see what he can do here. He was one down before and certainly did himself no favours. Let's see what he can do here and see if he can add in a second just to get himself on the board and give himself a little bit of a foothold as Sam Tolchard just sits down behind the green, just have a little bit of a rest and survey what is happening around Club Musgrave. We had, I think it was Jacob's Barbecue, Jason's Barbecue, Jason's Barbecue. It was Jackson's Barbecue, I'm being told. I knew it started with a J-A. And Helen was there as well. Absolutely fantastic here at 
Club Musgrave, they've really looked after us. They've done a wonderful job at this tournament. Ulla Bakren does not want any sort of a touch on his own bowl to get rid of it. Can he get on the board for a multiple here this weed? I reckon he can. I reckon he can. Ulla Bakren. Sure can, Val. That is two, and he is on the board. The whitewash, it ain't happening. Sam Tolshard, a 12-2 lead, and... Swede finally on the board. It was four threes in a row to Sam Tolchard to start things off. Is the comeback on, Barry? Oh, just some observations there. Sam didn't quite nail it with his three attempts and just under with his runner. But for me, it was for me it was where the jack was positioned. So there's only one place I wouldn't want the jack right now, and that's around about six to eight feet up from the tee. Pretty much, well, almost where that jack is now. So that's the most used and worn and stood on and um, that's been the most active area of the green. So when uh, getting into the later stage of the day, you can get a little bit of a shine up. So other areas of the grass will be still pretty flat, but this area where the jack is pretty compacted. And I noticed that just that last end where the jack was actually situated just looked to be in a tricky spot and... Uh, as we see there, all are just pulling up, well, four, probably four foot short on a good line, but yeah, so you just got to be conscious of that at all time, try and read the green. It's just uh, rink management. Try and keep that jack in the sweet spot where the grass is pretty even when it comes to wear. Coming in this direction, Sam Tolchard's first couple of bowls have been a little bit short. Nice little sighter, but he'd like to get one a little bit further down if he can. Yeah, Sam would be pretty happy with that. Like, it's it's a good worker. You know, you're only talking two and a half, three feet from perfection. So, once again, in these conditions, if you go to overcorrect, well, you can really overcorrect. The wind can get you and really blow you off course. So, Ulla Bakren. I reckon he might be under here. He is. See how that bowl arcs in. Great weight. Just uh, at the halfway mark, it's probably under a, maybe under a bowl or two from where it needs to be, so it's not that bad. Um, so he's finished probably a yard off course in the end, but weight's good. Sam has taken that wider line. I think he's given it a little bit more weight, and he's not too far away here is Sam Tolchard. And lovely correction. Yep, that will do. That's the boss. Certainly is. Like you are, Barry. Not today, I'm not. Oh, sitting here, you're doing pretty well. Oh, mate, I'm just... You just tell me where to be, Val, and Locke, <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll be there for you, boys. Always a team man is Barry Lester. Ulla Bakren now on the backhand. Not bad here. Needs to get down in a hurry. Might be missing high, but having said that, it is trying to work its way in. That'll do for second, or will it do for the shot? Very close, but I think Sam Tolchard just holds sway. Yeah, it came home late. Just needed to get down slightly earlier if it was going to get shot, but Sam Tolchard, well, we haven't seen many of this. Forehand, this direction. He wants to get out on a high line, just creeping around his front bowl, see if he can get back to the jack. Let's see how much wider they go out here. So they are... Sam's a good two or three feet wider than he is on the other hand. But it is turning. It is coming, Barry. He's played it very well. There could be a new boss in town here, Val. Sam Tolchard, that is the new boss, Barry Lester. Wow. So. That is, he is not bold on that side in this match. Yeah, and he's put it in a pretty good position. It's just slightly shorter, Jack, so. It's going to take something special from his opponent here. He put one out. Look at the arc, though. Yeah. So much sharper this side than the other side. He put one out sort of on the, away, on the away side of the ditch on the opposite hand when he went for that running shot before, but he hasn't drawn out to, out away towards the road. Brilliantly done there from 
Sam Tolchard. Good to see some of his teammates, even though uh, from the girls' set up, they're uh, here cheering him on so on the sidelines. Great to see. That's a great part of this event, seeing the teams all support one another when they can, even though that they could be having some downtime or whatever. They're just there to look after each other. This is very close here. Ole Bakren. All over it. Spills it out. He's well, got the T even if it stays in. Well, it stayed in. That's actually stiff because he's got one right on the front of the T there. He's he gone did. from potentially only giving his opposition two or three inches to draw it to now two yards. That is right on the peg. Big smile on his face. He's enjoying himself out there at least. He had a photo with Sam before the match. I love to see that. I, I personally love to do it when I'm playing against other countries. Collect the photos, great memories. And um, yeah, players this week or these two weeks, Val, they will connect and they'll make long life friendships. And there's nothing better. Sam's under here. He won't be happy with this. Well, he's really under. Well, he's almost drawn back to where the jack was. Oh, my God. To that be is... honest, he would have trailed it. That's gusting so hard, that breeze, as our microphone. Wow. So, Sam, that, that's how far away that went, and I don't think... Wow, that's unbelievable. He would have trailed the jack as where it previously was, Barry. Yeah, he was halfway down the green, and it was looking all right, and then the whole venue shook, and his bowl went from a slight chance to no chance oh. in no time. It went almost up the green from that breeze. All but of a sudden, it's 12-4. And just getting back to, um, especially these days with social media and what have you, players connecting, um, you know, there's no doubt there's going to be some friendships that are uh, long-lasting from it, from here on in. Um, you'll see players connect from Australia to Singapore or South Africa to um, Sweden. So it's just that's how it is and how, how great it is to all come together for a big event like this and make friendships and make memories and stay connected. Yeah, good day to fly a kite. I don't know about playing bowls, but uh, the players are combating the conditions to the best they can. Nola Bakran has won multiple ends in a row. Uh, dropped four threes to start this one, and now he scored two twos. So, Ola Bakren from Sweden is doing his utmost to try and keep this match going. And the wind brings that one back. And see what Sam Tolshard does. And if he goes straight back to the forehand in this direction. It's exactly what he's doing. His weight control pretty good. How's his line? How is his line? Yeah, that'll do. Still pass, though. <laughs> 16 shots scored from seven ends or from six ends so far. We're nearly averaging at three an end. Unbelievable. Well, a buck rent. A bit frustrated there. Turns his back on it straight away. He knew he was under, but, gee, only just there, Val. I know. He gave it a really good chance. It didn't run on. Almost would have been the shot, but a little trail for Ulla Bakren on the cards if he can get it. Yeah, much shorter length here in this direction than previously. It'll only be about 25 to 26 metres here. See Sam just pulling up. Still holding two, though. One and a measure indicator, but that definitely looks like a couple, Barry. Yeah, it looks like two. The thing about this head is there is a bowl in the way and you've still got to potentially negate that bowl, but the positives are if you can get a hold of that Jackies, you can make it three. So do you stick to it and try and negotiate that front bowl of Sam's? Well, that's what Ulla's doing. He's trying hard. He's coming back nicely here. He needs a clear run. If he's got the weight, he's... Drawn the shot. 
Ola Bakren. Well, he has found a rhythm here, Barry Lester. Yeah, one on and two behind. He's giving his bowl a chance. He's trying to put him into good areas. Sam needs to be careful here. Not only is he trying to get shot, but he doesn't want to half jack and run through. Needs to be careful. He's on a high line. Sam Tolchard, can he draw this? Can he get under and draw it? Mightily close. Good effort. But I reckon Ula Bakran still holding sway. What does the Swede do? Well, he, the head really sits up well for the Swede because not only has he got shot, but you can see those bowl, bottom bowls on the right-hand side of the screen. They're in an area where the jack could go if Sam looked to play some kind of aggressive shot. And they also win the tee. So there's so much value to come out of those two bowls. So Sam needs to be really careful that the head doesn't change. He'd be looking to... He can sit the shot bowl and make two or three, but runs the risk of any jack moving out to the right of the screen. He's outnumbered. So definitely, as we always refer to, Val, the key to the game, no matter how good you are, what discipline you're playing, is you need the bowls in the head. You need the numbers to create the opportunities. As we see here, switching to the backhand. Perfect result. It's just in behind the shot bowl here, about a, a metre behind the jack. Let's just see how this bowl reacts to this wide drawing line, this, this northwesterly breeze, and see you later. The, yep. We're seeing that wind win that side so many times. That is pushing it out a mile. Sam Tolchard now. What does he do, Barry? Does he go for this bowl? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, you're putting it on me. No, I... Uh, I'm, I'm, I always put it on you. <laughs> You're the tactician here. I'm struggling with this one a touch just because Sam, you know, he's 12-4 up. 12-5 is not all that bad. Yes, he has the uh, the second and third shot, but Jack movement's against him. So I think it's dead weight looking just to sit the shot bowl. Just to try and sit that shot bowl maybe a couple of metres. Jack movement, like I said, he needs to be careful. He's going to miss oh. high. Doesn't want to knock his own out here. Oh, oh my word. Tricky that. little shot in these conditions, Val. Yeah. So, Ola Buckren, as he's won three ends in a row here this week. Yeah, five shots. 12 nil to 12 5. Good on him. He's having a crack. He certainly is. And he'll start to have a little bit of belief now. Pleasure. Ola Buckren, the Swede. Yeah, there's plenty of games going on next door. We've got uh, South Africa out there. We've, we've got a, a lot of good players. Japan, such a high standard of play considering these conditions, Val. I'm uh, very impressed with some of the bowls I'm seeing. Not easy to just back it up bowl after bowl and put them in there when it's like this. Certainly not. Been a great fight back here from Ula Bakran. Sam Tolchard still in control, 12-5. But he'll want to get on the board again soon. He won the first four ends, but he's dropped the last three. And Ula Bakran is making him work now. And this one's going to drop under, but it's not a bad effort at all. Yeah, it's very competitive. If you, you, your first two deliveries on the draw are inside two feet in these conditions. You take that every day of the week. And... Um, yeah, he's starting to really hone in now. Starting to feel very comfortable out there on on this particular rink in these conditions. Sam Tolchard, well, he's all over it to there. Just needs to run up a touch. So his line was all over that, just looking for a yard. And that's where, um, it, it, you know, it might start entering Sam's mind when he drew that really good shot early on on the forehand, or well, two ends ago. You know, he might say, you know what, I haven't quite nailed it in the backhand the last couple of times coming this way. I might, might just jump over on the forehand now and see how we go. But patience is the key definitely for Sam now. He's got a good lead. He just needs to stick to it. So, Ola Bakran just dropping short. Sam Tolchard an opportunity. He's going to remain on that backhand side. Continue to stay to the more consistent 
grass here. Almost getting to that four o'clock period where Barry, a yard more after four. Yeah, just um, Sam, uh, the mat's gone back a touch. J- you know, the jack length's a bit longer, and yeah, as we mentioned, if you can try and stretch out your opponent as the day gets on, the green slows down a bit. But you got to be conscious of it, though. You got to be making sure that in your setup and in your delivery, you're, you're correcting for the conditions. So, all the buck rent coming around the back. Yeah, nice shot. Sam sticking to the backhand. Well, he needs to reach here, even if he doesn't get the shot. Because if he does get one past, he could then potentially look at the shot bowl, having two seconds. So, this is on a good line. Yeah. It is a much better line. It just needs the weight this time, Baz. He's close. He's got and the jack. How much? Well, he's got enough. That's a good shot. Great correction, Sam Tolchard. It's exactly what he needed. He wants to get himself back on the board here, and if he can get back on with a couple, he'll be very pleased with himself. Leads at 12-5. Was 12-0. The last three ends have gone the way of the Swede, who would love to continue to try and push this lead back and get himself back into this contest. Bit frustrated with himself there, Sam Tolchard. I reckon he would have wanted to have been back in the sheds by now. So, the Swede, what has he got in reply? Sam Tolchard has made him work for this end. He's made him work in this match. He's been fantastic so far. He's on the charge here. He's going to miss high. Well, good release. Pretty good speed too. But just off course from the get-go on that narrow hand, it was never getting back. Sam Tolchard, probably 18 inches of room to try and add another one here. I think we'll see another bowl backhand. And then what length will we see? I think he needs to... Does he go short? I'm thinking he either needs to get the jack up under the uh, under the hedge there on the tee um, or put the jack right out in the middle. I think you can't play that sort of three-quarter area. It's um, just a little bit inconsistent. A bit of a wider line here, Baz. Wants it to get down. That's not getting down. So it'll be one to Sam Tolchard. He's back on the board. 13 to 5. Leads by eight within two ends of victory now. Sam Tolchard, two full counts, and he's home and hosed. Always a nice little mental edge to have. So Matt back. Let's see whether he goes short or long here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a long length here. Jack's still spinning, spinning, spinning all the way up to the tee. Yeah, he's gone tee to tee, yep. Yep. Yeah, lots of things to do on the Gold Coast for, during the World Championships. A lot of players will be making the most of the beautiful beaches, restaurants, shopping. Pack, pack fair. Pack fair. A bit of retail therapy. Oh, yeah. For those go. who don't know, walking back with my fiancé back to the hotel and I just hear someone scream my name and thought, who the hell knows me here? And lo and behold, it's the one and only Barry Lester. Yeah, mate. Couldn't believe it was you, the one and only. All those bags full of um, Prada and Ro- I, saw, I think I saw, saw Rolex, did I? Yeah, Tiffany's. Not sporting the Rolex today. It was a, it was a gift for someone. Yeah, a gift for someone. I yeah. just thought I'd splash out 20K, why not? Uh, beautiful start. Sam Tolchard, that's what it's all about. Set your length. Ditch to ditch. One right in behind the jack. Huge start for Sam Tolchard. It's... Um, such a bonus when you can get that mat back, set the length. Get right on it early. And it wasn't, he didn't look up and guess and wonder what he wanted to do. He knew from the get-go it was going to be long. Just um, slightly high here. I think it still will get back all right for him. Because I think his weight control is okay. 
He's a bit Here annoyed with it, but it is going. Just and it's, more so weight in the end, yeah. Yeah, not going to do enough a second, but it's enough for him to survey and study. Yeah, it's um, definitely in windy conditions for me harder to, to get consistent bowls over a longer distance. Um, I've always been a bit, bit of a fan of taking the mat up and getting a lot of the mat green out of play. But you've got to uh, stick to your guns, play what works for you. Is this going to hold up for some connection? Well, it did. Not enough. Well, it's still one to Sam Tolchard, I feel. Well, now is it, though? That's well, the thing. it kept kicking on that, Jack, didn't it? It is skiddling around here, Barry, and all of a sudden, could be one to Sweden. So Sam looking for six to eight feet, probably more so eight feet on his last. Seems to be on a really good line. See some nice turn. Once it gets up under the hedge there, under the brick wall, it'll get back easily. Runs, Look at this for a shot. Runs in behind it. His first and third shots have been magnificent. He's right in front of the jack. Ula Bakra now. Where does he go? Cold, dead draw needed, I think. Yeah, Sam Tolchard. Beauty of that bowl is right in line with the jacks. It removes the the side of jack. So you've got to sort of play on what you know. Use the marker if need be. Ask for exact measurements. Some players prefer centimetres. Some prefer inches, yards, metres. As we see here, not much room at all for shot for the Swede. On his forehand, looks to be going. Needs to get down for connection. He's going to miss high. Be, but no, you're right. A bad effort. Sam Tolchard. Try and pop in a second here and really put the pressure on. Yeah, he really needs to make the most of this uh, space here, Sam. Something similar to his last. Forehand. Drawing out from the peg line. So when you see that shadow... It's a good guide to where his bowl's sort of got to get to at the halfway mark. Sort of draw up a picture in your mind, whether you're a bank bowler or look at the green. You sort of just feel to get out to that shadow line. And he has. There he is, getting onto that shadow now. Should get back all right, but I think he's just going a touch, Val. He is, but... Well, that's a great shot. Going a touch. Going a touch for a touch. Yep. Absolutely brilliant from Sam Tolchard. So he looks to get back on with his multiples. Four threes to start this match. That's the tail of the tape. Started 12-0 after four ends. Ula Bakran with it all to do. We're okay. No, we're okay. Thanks. That... <laughs> Baz has just let that one fall on his feet. I think it was Catherine Rednor walking past with some food. Ice cream. Ice cream. And now, no, none for Barry Lester. Now, I was offered a pod from you before, Val. Now, ice cream is another I've, level. We've offered you more pods. Oh, well, I didn't you know. You said no. There was ice cream on offer. And this is a big shot here required from the Swede. He's missing high. Couldn't quite get the top spin on that one. Will they measure for the third here, Barry? I, I don't. don't no, nah, I don't I think so. I believe it is two. Yep, Sam yeah. Tolchard says two. Ula Bakren obliges, and yep. it is 15 to 5. Sam Tolchard extends that lead back out to 10. So I'm just going to send Kath Catherine Rednor a message. Catherine, while you're at it, we'll have some. Thank you. Might go something peppermint. I'm a big peppermint man. Yourself, Val? Uh, I don't mind a cookies and cream. Okay. I'm a big rainbow, rainbow guy. Okay. So, well, the the child, whatever the ch most childish one is, that's me. Went and got Yochi in Broad Beach last night. Had my chocolate and vanilla with sprinkles and M and M's. It was absolutely delicious too, and there was no line there. The other night we walked past. It was like a nightclub to get in.
So Baz is actually messaging <laughs> Catherine Rednall. Yeah. Let's see what the response is. See if we can get a look over. Uh, I, when I think of Catherine Rednall, Australia versus the world, Moama, four years ago. Karen Murphy's last game for Australia. Catherine had an amazing series there. Rock solid. Great player for England. Great character as well. So many characters of the game. Get to know these people. Making uh, friendships in the sport is what it's all about. Making memories. And if your memory includes or involves coming away with a world title, it doesn't get any better than that. But a lot of these players won't be going home with a world title. And that's okay. They'll be going home with fun memories, they'll be going home with new friendships, new experiences and I'm sure great fond memories and a new love and passion for the for Australia and not only Australia but the Gold Coast and we want to get them back out here for the Australian Open next year Val. We do. I think it's It'd be great to see them come back, some of the, these players June 8 to 21 I believe, I'll double check that Boys and Berry, thanks Locke It's our mate Um <laughs> Just putting in an order there. <laughs> uh, it's Sam Tolchart Mark, looking to make it two here. Mark it down as when we've gone crazy here at the World Bowls Championships, 3.39 p.m. Well, someone oh. walking past with a tray of ice cream is probably going to do that to you, Val. Yep, Tuesday the 5th of September. Australian Open in 2024, the 8th to the 21st. I was bang on the money. Look at me go. So Sam Tolchard, beautiful shot there. As you can see, all three bowls nearly identical in line. That's what the singles is all about, catching some rhythm, ideally playing the same hand. Fuller doesn't mind it, but it is going to drop short. He had the line pretty much spot on, Baz. Yeah, he did. And and that that will give him some form of confidence with his last delivery, just to try and, you know, play it down there on a similar line. He's... uh, yeah, he's playing one of the best singles players in the world, hence why Sam Tolchard is the current World Champion Champions winner over there in New Zealand. Nine Eye Bowls Club, the home of BPL. Was one of them. 12 and 13, I'll go. Uh, somewhere around there. Um, what a great venue that was. One of the best bakeries I've ever experienced across the road from the, the indoor complex there. Beautiful indoor with a couple of outdoor grass. Great shot, Sam Tolchard. So well done to Sam. So... Just want to touch a bit more on that. For Sam Tolchard to also come out of England to go down to New Zealand, indoor, outdoor, fast greens, hats off, windy conditions, um, a massive effort. And I'm always super impressed when players can show their worth on the quick and slow greens, both northern and southern hemispheres. BPL 7 and BPL 9, Baz. Not really close, but anyway. 12 and 13. 12 was my first one. I'll pick the winners. Nine was Helensvale. Uh, nine was the Gorillas. Seven was Seven Helensvale. Seven was Helensvale. Ah, gee, I knew they won one of them. Yep, so, all right. Big moment here. Sam Tolchard scores a three here. He can peg out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. Jeez, Catherine Rednall, a bit harsh. All the background, Any I reckon he's movement? got the jack. He has. Well, he's gone from three down to one up. If he missed jack, he was... He, well, he, he, he played it. He gave it a chance. Well, he was... Sam Tolchard was getting ready to get his groceries out of the cart for the checkout zone, but he's not there yet. 15-6, Ola Buckran. Yeah, just clipping the jack. Did enough. And uh, well, it's sort of game on, you know. It's you do all the hard work, you put three around, and the opponent comes along and snips the jack like that. You, you just got to take the medicine and stay patient and keep trying your best. 
So seven and nine. Wow. Long time ago. Yeah, Wellington, New Zealand. What a beautiful spot that is. Biggest, the most cafes or coffee shops per capita than anywhere else in the world. Really? Yes, that was the stat they gave us when we went over there. There you go. But Unfortunately, they're not the coffee capital of the world. No, but um, there was plenty of something I love, and that's dumplings. Plenty of uh, dumplings shops. Yeah, dumplings are very nice. We had some pork dumplings at um, Grand Dynasty in Broadbeach the other night. Very nice. Steamed. Yeah. With the pork sauce or soy sauce? Uh, no, I just went no, natural. Natural. Great shot, Sam Tolchard. And that's that's class from him. Um, not, not not just with his bowls, but just to, to front up again, put that last result behind him, and nail the jack here on the forehand. So he's he's definitely doing enough, but can he hold off? Lachlan Williams sitting next to us warned our boss, uh, Aidan Davis, the great Aidan Davis, to be careful because they were packed in, so they do explode, and Aidan didn't listen, and all the liquid dripped everywhere. Or exploded everywhere. Sam Tolchard, again, that's rhythm. One side of the rink. He's not looking to change things up too much. Nice little train there of bowls, a little caterpillar. Bowl on bowl action. Sam, he'll, he'll want to start to wrap it, or he'll want to start wrapping this up. Yeah, well, he's doing what he what he can, you know, just to, just to pack the head. Not really much of a target there. You know, it's only a bowl, bowling a bit. It's, um, Ball has gone big and he's going to miss high. So that'll go to the ditch and Sam Tolchard with a chance to pop in a third. Yeah, Sam would probably normally go to the tee here, but because the two bowls line up, they're quite vulnerable. So he'll be confident just getting another one in there and he's got a fair bit of room to get to the tee if need be with his last. So for me, probably the best result for him is counter but not near those two bowls and that's pretty much perfect so if those two bowls are removed now he's got third and you would think that he the two bowls can't be removed from sam's last bowl so very strategic there from sam not to widen the target and not to put all three to three together so if all the buckran can't do anything here sam tolchard will be on the verge of scoring another three Getting himself into that checkout zone within an end of victory. And then Baz can go get some ice cream. Well, he's back the weight off. He's still sort of playing a tightish kind of line, but he's back the weight off. Is it going to hold for him? Can he? Wants it to at least maybe cut the count down. Work off the front. Well, he has. Oh, you are kidding. You are Well, I'll be. Ola Buckran. Well, there you go. Does Sam just go clean for this now? Bowl and a half narrow off course, as we see here. You can see that he's under the shot bowls and the jack. His weight's good enough for a result, but he's worked under onto the third bowl and got a oh. nice bounce. Sam Zolchard cannot believe it. He's held back-to-back -back threes and finding himself potentially staring down the barrel of dropping a one. Sam's probably thinking, I couldn't have designed or drawn up that head any better other than, if you were being super critical, other than Sam's last delivery probably being another two feet past Jack. Well, that was ultimately what determined the result there for Ulle Bakren. Here we go. Sam Tolchard, he probably deserves this for me, Sam. Looking to get rid of the shot bowl. Clean. Staying weight, Baz? Yeah, weight definitely. But he doesn't want jack movement because he is away. He missed narrowed playing the shot earlier he's and he's done it again. again. So Ulla Buck and Barry Lester, he's won five of the last seven ends. And he's saved a lot of shots. He's hanging around. So, N12, quite an intriguing matchup this one has been. 
unbelievable. Sam Tolchard would be absolutely bewildered as to how he's not in the uh, how he's not on 18 right now. But he'll, uh, in true English style, Baz, I reckon he would have said he'd had the moral victory at that end. The old, yeah, that's right. The old yeah. Pierce Morgan. Yeah, that's that's and no, I do apologise to all the English fans out there. I had to get had to get one in. But Sam has had many victories these last three or four ends. There's no doubt about it. You know, when you're outnumbering your opponent, you got three bowls inside two and a half feet, and they get one in there. Well, that's just how the game can go. Sometimes it does only take one. Um, but yeah, Sam's job. Oh, a nice starter here. Sam's job is just to keep backing, backing up end after end. Just keep persisting, put them in the area, and then it might be his opportunity to create a number. And I think the thing with Sam is that he's just remained consistent. He's kept to his own rhythm. Um, you know, that, that's, that's all you can do. Exactly. You know, um, look at this for a shot. And this is what he's been doing all match. Just yeah, just putting all, him in there, yeah. same hand. Making Ulla Bakran work for all of his shots here. That might, might make Ulla change, which, you know, over to the forehand, which is a good result for Sam. Ideally, you want your opposition switching hands, swapping and changing throughout a match just to break their rhythm up. So the Australian men's fours team got the job done this morning and this afternoon against the Philippines and Malta. They've got a bye in the third round. Taking on uh, Argentina in the w women's triples. The live score section says that they've played 810 ends in that match. Sounds like a pretty long one, but they're leading 11-4. And in the... Men's singles, Aaron Wilson in a pretty good spot against Fiji. Hasn't lost yet today. 17-6 up against the Fijians. And then the women's pairs, Australia taking on Malta. They are down 5-2 after seven. Sam's whole charge, sticking to the backhand. Played it well again, so that'll be enough for two. Or will it? Yeah, that's two. Yep. So I don't think he's really lost a front two or three bowl battle for quite a while now. It's just a matter of... Holding on when the last two or three deliveries come down. And uh, when these when these little challenges uh, do appear in a game, it's so important just to stay calm, stay patient, try and keep your mind in the in the in the blue side instead of the red side. Blue being water, nice and calm. Red being you, fire. I thought you were just talking about the bowls. Yeah, it's uh, easy easy to then, once you get a little bit heated. The to, old uh, Jimmy McElroy and Chaz Michael Michaels, Baz. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Fire uh, and ice. Yeah, that's it. It's easy to play a bowl every now and then when your mind's a bit heated or a bit disgruntled, and most times it won't be effective. He's played it well. You've got to give it to Sam here. Yeah. I know the score's 15-7, and he is up, and he's in a commendable position, but... You know, this, this level of bowling, once again, three bowls. Uh, he's probably worst bowl there's two and a half feet away in these conditions. It's uh, top top flight bowling from Sam. Thirty four years old, Sam Tolchard, four time Commonwealth Games medalist from Torquay. Won two medals at the Com Games last year, bronze and a silver. Wales, Dan Salmon and Jared Breen got them in the men's pairs final. Yeah, fierce competitor. Feels like he's been around for 20 years now, Sam Tolchard, just always fronting up, always getting deep in majors. His first World Bowls or National Champion of Champions was in 2007, Barry Lester, when he was just 16, sorry, 19 years old. Well, Sam Tolchard takes a sigh of relief now. <laughs> He's on the board again. Yep. Barring, barring catastrophe. Oh, we've, we've seen it happen before. 
Uh, it'll be but, backhand, safe line. Yeah. You'll go nowhere near this. Ideally, just trying to beat his last bowl. Try and get him for a third. Pop himself in the checkout zone and really finish this one off. We'll go a long way to finishing it off anyways. Well, after four ends, we didn't think that we'd be getting to end number 12 or 13. Sam led 12-0. Since then, 7-3 in favour of Ulla Bakren. He's trying hard. If he works off the inside of this and flops, he can count for another. Well, that's going to be very close. I think that'll do, Barry Lester. He's played four cracking shots, has Sam Tolchard. As I said, in these conditions, if anything, the wind has slightly dropped off. Has a little bit in looking at the flags. Two indicated by the marker. Two it is. So Sam Tolchard into the checkout zone. 17 to 7 is the buffer. Can all the continue pushing this one around? Only one single scored for Sam Tolchard in this match. When he scored, he scored multiples. What can he do here? Yeah, so Matt back again on the tee. Jack, a couple of metres short of the tee, so around about that 31, 32 metre mark. Forehand it is, just sticking to the one side of the rink, bowl after bowl after bowl, just trying to pack the head full of effective deliveries on the draw and see how it pans out after that. Fairly good start. Probably a yard short. Line was good enough to get back to the jack if he carried the weight. Game going on next door. Cyprus versus Singapore. Cyprus down 12 to 17. See a little bit across the rinks. See South Africa playing. Wayne Rittmuller as yeah. well. Kenta Trichia. Yeah, Botswana having a having a win over Zimbabwe, 17-10. Battle of the African nations. Yeah, good to see. Sam Tolchard now just looking to try and finish things off. Do you think it would it'd be frustrating him a little bit that he hasn't finished this off yet considering the start? I don't think so. I think Sam's more um, oh, he's he's very you know he's very credentialed, very mature, very uh, experienced player. I think he'll be he'll, he'll know that he just needs to keep on top of arguably the most important part of the game, and that's just patience. And when you got the time limit, he's got the foothold already. So that I think that's the thing for Sam. I guess yeah, if you look at it that way, and just keeping the right temperament, you know it's. Um, He's still a bit fluky, but he's playing this forehand and backhand side very well. He's a bit higher on this occasion, but if he's got the weight, might get back around his first bowl. So this might be a little bit for Sam where the mind is maybe just wandering a little and, st and thinking about the score, just a little, um, where you think, well, okay, here we go, 17-7, I'm a, I'm a chance of going out here. Um, and he's, yeah, he's sort of, not quite nailed it here, but he's got to uh, do it with his last now. He hasn't had to do that very often this match. Play a big one with his last, and he could find himself potentially three down here. It's just going to be the two. So big one required for Sam. Ola Buckran has won five of the last eight ends in this match. Sam Tolchard can't do anything about this. It'll be six out of the last nine. Gets it away now, does the Englishman. Yeah, he's just finishing high. Don't think he's going to get back in time. Unless well, it's trying, Val. If it turns hard now. 
What? Well, it, gee, that's either shot or second shot. He's cut it down either way. What an effort to get around those front bowls. Just didn't turn, did it? It didn't until it was late. And, and that's what I spoke about earlier, Val. Where they are standing and where that jack is, is would be the most flattest, worn part of the green. And that's why the, the sharp turn is available as opposed to some other areas of the green. And well, they're having a look. The mark is going in now. So Ula Bakren, very, very close. Marker indicating measure. What can the Swede do? Sam just having a conversation with the marker about the green and what it's doing. What has he got here? Ulla Bakren. Just having a look at the flags. Trying to read this head best to his ability. Try and sneak under those front ones, Val. Trail the jack out to the wing. It's not bad here. Any slice of the jack. And he makes three. Over to the right of the screen. Ulla Bakren. He's trying to get back. Whoa. Not a bad effort at all. It'll go through, so we'll get a measure here. Sam Tolchard reckons it's one. It is one. He managed to get it, Barry. Big save. Wasn't really much on offer there for Sam, so all of a sudden he went from two down to one up and three away from victory. It was minuscule. It's only the second one that he scored, so... Yeah, this is, and, I, and I'm actually really impressed by Ulla Bakra and not to get down on himself, and he hasn't let the, the occasion or the deficit get the better of him. He's just played his own game, got a couple of good results here and there, but you know what, he's kept this match going after four ends. We thought it could be done in six or seven, but he's stretched it out to, this is end 14 now. Yeah. It's uh, getting to that stage in the match where the scoreboard can start really influencing your mind. You know, you want that victory. You want to get back to the hotel, do your recovery, jump in the pool, grab something to eat, do all that. But right now, it's staying in the moment, staying focused and the job on hand. And he's done that very well here, as Sam Tolchard. Bang, on Side the jack. Touch up. And as we look across the greens, Val, it's just so impressive to see... So many different countries involved, as you said before. Battle of the African Nations. 44 different countries, Barry Lester. And uh, there's a lot of young stars out there. We've got young Panash Zaramba from South Africa over there making her way up in the game. And we've got Jerry Baker tuning in as well, speaking him to just recently, saying there's a lot of good talent coming through over there in South Africa. So that's really exciting to hear. It is. Um, South Africa, a bit Jerry, of a sleeping giant. Yeah, Jerry Baker, of course. One of the, one of the world's best top flight players. G'day to Jerry. And, um, yeah, it's just exciting to see now with the way the earth and the way the people are more and more connected through social media and emailing and all that, that we can really work together on growing this game. Post-COVID, being outdoors, being active, making friends, social inclusiveness. So bowls is a, a definite winner when it comes to all those aspects of, of life. And what better place than to, if you're not already down there, taking your friends to the bowls club and, and having a go. As we see here, all this the is background, he's all close. over it. He's very close. And he's followed it through as well. He's making Sam Tolchard work for every shot that he gets. Two to come for Sam Tolchard. And credit to Ulla Bakran. Dropped four threes at the start of this. Has not dropped the three since. Yeah, Sam... It's okay not to get shot with this one. Just create a head where, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So he's going to get the T there. So all of a sudden, he's one bowl away here, Sam Tolchard, from winning this match. As the head sits at the moment, just a matter of sitting that shot bowl and making a number. But Ula 
on the forehand. He will, he'll be trying to get another one in there. As we see a big gust come across yeah. the green at the moment. Sam told you I can't quite believe that. <laughs> so Ulla Bakran. He's managed to get fourth with that, so Sam Tolchard. Well, if he sits the bowls, the bowl and stays, he'll hold game. Yeah. It's and difficult. It's a very difficult shot. He may have to get a little bit of help off the front. Plan B is to miss high here, Val. Plan B is two options if you miss high, and that is work off the front red or you actually get the jack as well. So missing high... Play a, a medium weight, so your bowl's coming in on a high angle. Needs this to sit. Needs it to sit through the middle stage. Toll chart. Stalking it. Very tight. So, Ulla Bakran. He's going to keep on keeping on. have been really impressed by what he's been able to conjure up in terms of adversity here. And just, he's been, he was battered from pillar to post in those first four ends. But he's come back and done a wonderful job. As we see, the sun just starting to set in the west. Four o'clock. Bowl's just sitting down a touch now. Doesn't want to touch Sam Tolchard's wow. bowl here, but he doesn't. He Great gets shot. in for two, and Ola Bakren. He's, if he gets the double figures here before Sammy gets off 18, it just starts to create that little bit of um, extra interest from both players. He has fought and toiled so hard today this week. He's still down by nine, but he'll take a lot of confidence in the fact that he has kept himself in this match. He has not allowed Sam Tolchard to dictate him or boss him around. Sam will have last bowl here. And it's going to be a long end if this jack stays up. Definitely came out of the shoot really firm, that one. Is it going to stay up? Might just. It's going. It has fallen in the ditch. So Sam Tolchard brings the map back a little bit. Let's see where he puts this. Does he go short or does he go long? Such an art jack rolling, Baz, and you have mastered it. What is the key? Yeah, rolling the jack, like uh, many components and, and sort of areas of the sport, is needs to be practised, um, no doubt about it. Uh, I remember leading into Birmingham last year, sort of found at least sort of a half a day of a, of a good jack rolling session. Uh, I remember just grabbing a bucket of jacks out of the out of the shed. For me, it's just something I like to do. Um, more so probably from a mechanism point of view, from like the biomechanics involved, um, rolling a jack slightly different to a bowl and and uh, just getting the confidence out of the, the touch of the jack. So if it's something you really pride yourself on doing, being a good lead and, and at this level, jack rolling, especially to a skipper that's trying to strategically change a game up or find a way to um, you know get the win, the, the skip will quite often be... Asking the lead to make sure that the, the jack is somewhere in the vicinity of where they want it. You know, ideally maybe a metre or sort of four to six feet. And can prove very vital, especially if the opposition don't seem to be finding a certain length. So then the, that's up to the lead then to execute another um, area of the, of the roll as lead to be able to roll that jack and do it well. So um, it might come across a little bit boring, for instance, um, for some people that say to me, Barry, oh, this, it's so boring. But um, it, uh, it's such an important feature of the game. A absolutely. Yeah, no, that, no doubt about it. You know, I wouldn't have thought many golfers go to the range and only take one club with them, Bell. So um, you've got to be working on all areas of your game. And if you're a lead, rolling the jack is no different. 
But even if you're not a lead, you may be asked to play in that position. Is you know, even if you are predominantly a skip, you know, you tend to play a lot of singles. So is it still something you should be practicing? Yeah, that's right. It comes in handy for all that. So um, you see a lot of leads, um, or, or a lot of leads. Obviously, good draw bowlers and good singles players, and vice versa. But you'll see most bowls clubs you go down to on, a, on an afternoon during the week. You'll see most people probably spotting a jack. When they're rolling up, I personally don't like to have a jack when I'm, I'm uh, rolling up. I just like to get some rhythm, uh, unless I'm doing a specific drill. But then, uh, obviously, if I'm training to roll jacks, I'll, I'll be doing that. But if you're rolling a ja- uh, placing a jack, one, you're not practicing your jack rolling, and two, you're trying to always beat the jack, and you're never going to do that. So if you don't roll up with a jack, just try and p- play your first bowl down on a on a nice line, on a nice length, and then try and repeat that. And as you see what Sam Tolchard's been able to do most of this game, put one close and repeat it, and that's the key to the game. Absolutely brilliant from you, Barry Lester. So many things you can do. such an important part of the game, jack rolling, because it can set up an end, and if you don't get it right, it can play into your opponent's hands. So practice it wherever you can. Yeah, Sam there, trying to get another one in there. His weight's almost good enough, just on a high line. So as we see, it's one shot to England. Pretty sure Sam can play the match winner if the head doesn't change. As we see there on the screen, there's a bowl at 7 o'clock uh, just under the jack there. And if the head doesn't change here, you'll definitely see Sam looking to sit that bowl to, to win the match. Yep, finish it off and be pleased with himself to keep it under double figures. So Ulla Bakran, let's see what he can conjure up. Kenta Trecha has defeated Errol Mark Johnson of Sri Lanka. Kent uh, has had a really good tournament. Could have beaten England in the men's triples. Here we go. Massive moment in the game here. Looking for another one in there. Either get the shot or take away the opportunity for Sam to win the game with his last. So, great rotations. Definitely reaching. He is. Oh, is wants he going to his own? own. Jinx. Careful. Careful. Well. Oh, Barry Lester. I think. I think he might just be safe here. Sam's Sam, having a look. Sam might just go for the dead draw. One and a measure. Wow. Okay. Okay, dead draw. I think. Change of hands, maybe, Barry. Um. I think I think he stays forehand just because there's there is the two and three options. So if he's if he's quick on the backhand and he's high, he gets nothing. Mm. Whereas if he's quick and he's high on the forehand, he can l- land the inside of that blue bowl and turn it once for three, or he can get to the outside of his second nearest bowl and get to the cannon and make three. So there's plenty of options on his forehand. And, of course, if he's right on line, he draws another. He's just going to miss high. He needs a little work off that wing bowl. Can he He get down for some action? Might get it, Barry. He's going to, and that'll do. If he wins the measure, he will win the game. So we're going to get a measure here. It's definitely two to Sam Tolchard. If it's a third, we are done. And he gets the win and goes three and zero for the afternoon. World Bowls champion of champions. It is a prestigious award to win, and of course, that is next week. John O'Davis and Karen Murphy in action for Australia, New Zealand, Selena Goddard and Sheldon Bagri, Bagri- Howley, England. Edward Morris representing them in the men's singles to try and defend the title for his country. So, the measure comes out. We've got the umpire out at the moment. Does Ole Bakran 
live to fight another day, or does Sam Tolchard pack up those red XGs, put them back in the bag? Sam's turned his back. I don't think he likes what he sees. So two it is. He just can't put the finishing touches on Canny Barry. Not quite, not quite. He uh, got a little bit of love off that wing bowl with his last. He was in the area, but this is where when you're 20 to 9 up, you're thinking, yeah, it would be good to try and get it done now. As we see, the, the days are long. The players are already a, a good week into this event. They've travelled thousands of kilometres, put in the time and effort, the training to be here, and this is where it is literally bowl by bowl, game by game, day by day, and that resilience of just believing in yourself, believing in the process, staying patient, Good home comes to into play. So, Ulla Bakren played with uh, Pontus Palmqvist out of Bondi last week in the men's pairs. Pontus has really worked wonders with the club down there at Bondi. Uh, true local clubs. Absolutely passionate about the sport. Well, what can Ulla do? Just come around the back. He wants to keep this going as long as possible for his own shot difference. It's a tough group with Kenta Trechel already through on a third win. On 21-7 over Errol Mark Johnson of Sri Lanka. Two to Sam Tolchard currently holding game. He was 42 for 13 against Sam Tolchard in his two matches, Baz. And Ulla Bakren has almost matched that 13. Got within an end of it. So certainly a lot to like from his point of view. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's hustled pretty hard. He's played some big ones when it mattered. And you can only respect that, really. You know, uh, it was, yeah. It's... it's it can be very daunting when you go down 12-0 after four ends, but he's really he's worked really hard to get himself back into it. And as you can see there, just where Sam's bowls are, you know, he's just been very very consistent. And um, sometimes it's hard to get the exact reply after your your opposition puts one in there after you've crowded the head. You know, sometimes you run the risk of dropping more, and Sam wasn't able to to come away with those big conversions when all I had one in there, but. All in all, he's been able to do this, and this is the key. So putting bowls in the area all day long is the key to the game. Weight of numbers will generally get you over the line, and Sam's been able to do that versus just seeing a couple of loose bowls there. They're the ones that come back to haunt you. But, well, going to clear the front. If this has got good weight, it could Nearly get the shot. It is going to drift. Uh, it's not quite. So, so what is it? He's, he doesn't really have a good setup around the head here, does Ulla. But we'll see what happens. And Sam. No worries. Ulla, just asking to contact him. Yeah, if that's lovely. Any, if, there's any, if there's any Swedish bowlers from abroad, contact him. If anybody from Sweden or has Swedish roots, Sam Tolchard puts in a fourth. So you heard it here. Contact Ulla Bakren. Or even us, you know, start with Bowls Australia and we can try and point in the right direction. But, um, yeah, if you know of anyone that maybe isn't, isn't even sporty, you know, uh, someone that you know has got Swedish background or they want to maybe get involved in Bowls, one, we win because they take out Bowls and two, the country wins. And that's what it's all about. We 
we just want to see participation. And if it's going to be at World Bowls level, well, everyone wins from there. You are 100% correct. And he found Pontus Palmqvist saying that oh, there's another Swede that bowls and Pontus played at the World Bowls Indoor Championships earlier on this year. Actually knocked off the English mixed pairs team in the sectional round, played with Chloe Morrison of the ACT. Yeah, and, and that's the, the beauty of Australia too with the 18, 1900 clubs around Australia. You can access these clubs, you know, and if you're uh, tuning in today or if you're tuning in and you know of someone uh, in your friendship networks that's Italian, French, anywhere, and you think, well, wait a minute, they love their sport, but they're not actually a bowler, or they are a bowler. All right, I'm going to do it, Baz. My Italian and Croatian heritage. I don't have the passports, but I can try and organise them. Well, look out. So, okay, that's the closest, but that's not enough. That will do. So Ulla goes and pops the mat back down. They're going to have a quick look. I think they might measure, surely not. Oh, well, okay. Surely not. If Ulla Bakren pushes this out one more end... It could be. I, I, I just not thought the, far. You did. You did say it before. I thought it might have drifted too far, but I just thought the bowl that the, Sam's measuring now was clearly the shot. It was. Um, maybe there's a chance. He's kicking him back. So who knows? Will we get a handshake now, or has Ulla Buckren pushed it another end here? We are going on. He has reached double figures. Ulla Buckren, the Swede. He has n not given up in any sense of the word. And the thing about that is, Val, that you, well, I've just reminded myself, that ball actually fell against the bias. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because it reminds me of a time I lost a game because of a ball fell against the bias. But anyway, that is definitely another story. But... <laughs> That uh, bowl, is that the that one bowl. that you didn't want me to remind you about? No, no, okay. but that bowl there that won that measure fell against the bias just randomly. Uh, it did. And, and that can just happen sometimes. Um, it might just hit a little bit of a strong bit of strong leaf. Might have been from the breeze as it was coming in, but yeah, that bowl, as it, it works out, as it was coming down to the head, it just decided to flip on its back, or you want to call it a turtle, um, and it won the measure. So it just goes to show, um, yeah, you see some unique things out there. You see it. You do see a lot of bowls fall on their back on uneven surfaces, but with a flat surface like this, you won't see it very often at all. So Brett, Brett Scott saying that if this match was sets play, it would have been interesting. And you know what? He does make a point because since we were at the 12-zip point, Ulla Bakren has actually won this match. He's scored 10 shots to eight in that time. A yeah, beautiful Which shot is... from Sam. Good head of bowls forming already. Two bowls inside, a couple of feet. Lee Schreiner played at, Ulla at the World Champion of Champs, has the best finger measure on the planet, was never wrong. did see a post recently. I think it was... Was that Switzerland or Sweden? I, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to think where that was, Val. Neil Dalrymple, he was up in the hey, hills. He was in Switzerland. Switzerland, there you go. Having up, a bowl in the in the Alps. It's like in the backyard of someone's house, wasn't it? Looked I think like so, it. yeah. And then I just saw a mansion being built up in uh, Sunshine Coast somewhere, I think it was. Yeah, Malulabar or somewhere, Maruchidor. Yep. Built this huge big mansion and put a bowling green in there. What are they? Will they host this for an event? You and I go have a roll? I don't know if it's how legit uh, the green was, but this huge, massive, big mansion overlooking the ocean, all that, they put a bowling, artificial bowling green in the uh, inside the house, and I, I couldn't tell you how long or how wide, but um, obviously had the, uh, the space to do it, and yeah, well, might be uh, knocking on the door for uh, a venue for an event down the track. Who knows? Wayne Rittmuller. 
commenting. Just watching on over there. He's literally sitting about 10 metres away from us. He got the job done over Papua New Guinea, 21 to 7. Okay, this is coming in. Needs to sit the bowl. Has he done it? Ola Bakrin oh. missing by a whisker. He's got one left. Sam wow. Tolchard holding game. He needs second shot here, Sam. Backhand it is. Slide in behind his own on the backhand would be ideal. Finish even high of the line would be good too, just in case any jack movement kicks out to the side. So if that if that just gets past the blue bowl in terms of length, that helps any jack movement. Yeah, he's done pretty well there. Now, are we going to go on again? Tricky head to get out of here for all up. He's really only got bowl clean for me. I don't think Jack moving is going to favour him. Unless he gets it somehow in the middle and goes with it. Tough ask. Very interesting. Well, I think the, the positive for Ula, if he can't win it here, he's actually won the count since Sam Tolchard led 12-0. Okay, with weight. Did it last end? He took, played the weighted shot, took the bowl out to win the end. Can he do it again? Ula Bakran to keep it going. Sam Tolchard has probed and asked the questions. He goes again. I tell you what, he's not overly far away here. He's got it. This is quite unbelievable, Barry Lester. Well, that was... It looked good all the way, to be fair. Straight out of the hand. Nice release. Kept square to the target. Nice follow-through running down the green. Sam Tolchard, as we see here, he's liking it all the way. On the narrow hand. Needs it clean now. And Got it's, it clean. It's missed his own bowl well, by, a, by a feather. It shadowed it on the way out. So Sam Tolchard, well, he's switching hands here. I thought he'd just try and beat his previous delivery. So it's a dead draw required for Sam Tolchard. Only three bowls on the rink at the moment. But the one that shot... Isn't Sam Tolchard's. And you know what, Barry Lester? We're going on. We are going on. I didn't see Sam going back to the forehand there, but that's where if his confidence lies, that's fine. I just thought, try and beat his third delivery, freshen his mind. Anyway, oh. off we go again. He's held game. So if we In remove the, the first ends. four ends of the game, what's the score there, Val? Well, if we remove the first four ends, it's actually it's 11 to eight in favour of Ola Bakren. Right. So that's where Brett's comment before about um about sets play. That's where it would be interesting because he actually he has really fought hard. So let's He's break the game the, up into sets then. Uh, so the first nine ends score first is first nine ends fifteen five in favour of Sam Tolchard. Second set uh, six five so far in favour of Ola Bakren. There you with go. an end of play. So just goes to show, doesn't it? It's how, very, the, uh, how the different forms of the game can work. Yep. Absolutely sensational match so far. So we thought this match would be done pretty quick, and Sam Tolchard's second match, I think, was done in just under 40 minutes. I'm pretty sure it was sets play, wasn't it? The Champion Champions last year? Last year it was. He got the job done in a tie break against Izad Zul Kepler. And again this year? Uh, it will be, yes. And the indoors was as well. I th Bowls is, indoor championships. Is it slightly different this year, though? I can't quite remember. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, I think. Did yeah. I hear three sets of five? Yes. Okay. And then a one end tie break. Right. If the third set is tied. Okay. Extra end. Sam Tolchard looking for one shot. He's been stuck on 20. Well, he's lost the last two ends. Ulla Bakran, since losing the first four ends, he's won eight and lost five. 
So he's fought so hard to keep this match going. Sam Tolchard had only conceded 13 ends in his first two, or 13 shots in his first two matches. And Ula Bakren has drawn the shot by the looks of it here. It's coming. Barry Lester, he just continues to fight. He's going to become the cold hero of this World Bowls Championships. Well, I tell you what. He how's the time going too, Val? Well, the time limit, it was 2.45 we started. Okay. So, so we've got we've still got another half an hour of Sam Tolchard. He wants to go home now. He's not quite there, I don't believe. Still one down. And I reckon it's going to fall out to... That is sitting precariously on its bias. Okay, so Sam Tolchard... One down. Just Ooh. needs to find a couple of feet on his last delivery. He's been rock solid, Sam. Gene. Oh, he's just been playing the big one. Gene Schofield. This is the third round of men's singles action in the sectional. So, it's still sectional. No knockout or anything yet. Ula Bakren. Going again, trying to extend this. After four ends, it was 12-0 in favour of Sam Tolchard. This is end 18. And I tell you what, he's got that one in a pretty good home, Baz. Not sure if that counts. It's probably borderline. Maybe we'll get an way. indication soon. But I think Sam, um, he'll, definitely, he'll definitely make some form of correction here. Any contact on his own bowl, he'll definitely get shot here. Well, he needs to find a way through that hole. He's done enough. Well, that's shot. Yep. So <laughs> here we go again. Ola <laughs> Bakrin. Can he do it again? The <laughs> cat with nine lives. <laughs> We're going to see some weight on the back end here. So two ball target. He was. He was nice smile to us from Sam Tolchard. Let's see. On target last time was all eight. Bakrin. Backhand with weight, or it might be forehand, massive weight. Who knows from this man, the Swedish superstar. The Swedish cult hero of the World Bowls Championships. Shining bright out there in the yellow and blue Parramatta colours. He put up that flag beforehand. He's gone big again. How's he going? He's under, is he? Yes, he is. This time. Well, that's all she wrote. This time, Sam Tolchard. Gets the job done. He wins it 21 to 11. He was up 12 nil. And Ulla Bakren of Sweden exhibited some superb fighting spirit. And literally a big sigh of relief yeah. there from Sam. These, uh, these games can be very tricky, very mentally challenging. They take a lot out of you, and Sam, we'll be looking forward to getting some rest tonight. But I've really enjoyed that match, Val. Well called. We uh, we tried to give you a really good insight to both players and how they were going about it then, and thanks for hanging around and watching. Yeah, it was absolutely sensational in the end. The viewers built, and I think a lot of people have a massive respect for Ulla Bakran for how he played, and he just never got too down on, on the situation, was down 12 nil, absolutely brilliant. Barry Lester, thank you very much. And thank you, and just a reminder, if you know of anyone that uh, might not even play bowls, that may want to get into bowls and have a, uh, you know, s some form of different uh, background other than Australian, such as Swedish, get them involved, and uh, they're looking for players. They certainly are. Barry Lester and Val Febo here with you at Musgrave today. Tomorrow we're going to be at Helens Vale. Very much looking forward to that. 8.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Check your local guides wherever you are or uh, like the Bowls Australia Facebook page and turn your notifications on. We will be with you tomorrow morning.